Hey everyone, Denise here from So Limitless, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you what's on my sewing table and tell you about some upcoming projects that I hope to get done soon. So let's get started. First of all, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are returning, if you are new here, then hi, my name is Denise, and I am in my sewing room, and I'm gonna just share with you some thoughts that I have about different things that I wanna hopefully get done fairly soon. So the first thing is this. I will share this, got all of this together. This is a project I've had ready for years, sort of. Uh, McCall 6517. It is different versions of a rain jacket and you can make rain boots too. Well, I am interested in view A, which is this one here with the hood. And as you can see, I've not even cut this pattern. I've had it for many years, along with this fabric. And this is a laminated fabric. Show you. It's got raindrops on it. So I'm gonna have to, I guess, pay attention to the direction that I cut, but I've never sewn with a laminated fabric. The back of it is pretty smooth, so I don't think I'll have problems with that. But I do have a Teflon foot, <clears throat> which I understand is what you would want to use. So I hope to be able to share some of this process for this particular project with you. That is most I would think going to be on something like Instagram or whatever, but I will try to put some information together also to do a video if any of you ha are interested in, in using laminated fabric, if you need tips or that kind of thing. That's what I, I want to hopefully do. So that is one of the first projects. Now, by the time this video goes up, I may or may not have started. <laughs> We'll see. I got the jacket done, so I'll put in some pics to show. So <laughs> I'm not sure how that one's gonna go. Now, this is a project that I've actually had, I've been intending to do, and then I forgot about it. This is some fabric that I purchased. It is a just a peach broadcloth fabric, and it is relatively thin, which is okay. I mean, I may have to do a little bit of lining to it, but, the idea for this, uh, it started with the Pantone color of the year being peach fuzz or whatever they call it. So I thought I don't have anything in peach in my wardrobe at all. And I don't, it's not a color that I really sew with. So I pulled out some patterns. Now this one is an old pattern, but it's like my go-to anytime I make what we used to call camp shirts. I not sure if they still call them that. I think some people do, but this pattern is fantastic. It's McCall's 2094. If you can find this on eBay, I just love it because it's actually easy. It's a very basic pattern. I use it for the short sleeve and for sleeveless, and it's just got buttons down the front. So I pulled out these buttons because um, I have not had a chance to go to see what Joann's has left or what they have in their store that's close to me. Um, I also pulled out this pattern. This is a newer pattern that I've yet to try. And this is another go-to. This one I like, it's kind of cute. It's similar to the other one, but this one has an, a little tie in the back so you can cinch it in a little bit. But um, it will probably be this one because this is gonna be the quickest for me to make. And um, so I'll just use that and the buttons that I pulled out. And that would be what I will do for that project. Now, this is camo. I thought it was a twill, but I, looking at the um, little tag, it says it's broad, broad cloth, just a printed broad cloth, because it's not very heavy. So it's actually good for spring and summer. I had the plan to make a pair of cargo pants. Problem is, I don't remember what pattern I was going to use. And I know I had planned all of that out because I even, when I ordered this, these are, this fabric and the peach fabric are from Fabric Wholesale Direct. But unfortunately, I don't know which pattern. So I might do this one, which is a new look 6745. I had shown you this all before when I got it, 
but I have a couple of other cargo pants patterns that I may try with this fabric. So we will see how that goes. I think if it's a pattern that I've not used before, I will generally do a muslin for pants because, you know, pants are those things that they need to fit, or at least for me, I want them to fit a certain way. So that will be something I would uh, to do, but I have not washed that fabric yet. So there's a lot to be done with that. Hopefully I should start on the laminated fabric raincoat fur. Uh, that is the oldest fabric that I have of all of this because all of these things are relatively new. But if you all have any questions or comments about anything, please leave it down below. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will be notified the next time I upload a new video. But I do thank you all for watching. I appreciate your time. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>